four years after the Delhi High Court decided that criminalizing gay sex was against basic human rights, the Supreme Court have overruled the decision. Democratic rights are also fights against Section 377. The government had not appealed against the earlier 2009 judgment as it favoured decriminalisation of gay sex but had not bothered to incorporate that into law. I think that a historic opportunity to expand constitutional values has been lost. Uh, it's almost like saying Article 21 doesn't exist in the Constitution of India. It's like almost like deleting Article 21 from the Constitution of India. And I think it's, uh, it's in position of a medieval mindset. The Supreme Court judgment has upheld Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code that now makes criminals out of thousands of consenting adults. I didn't expect that this uh, court will make such a, a huge setback to us. It's unbelievable that a, a judge has actually not understood the constitutional rights of citizens like me. It, he can't take away my homosexuality. It is part of my personality, you know. They, you know, it's like taking out your heart and expecting it to still live. This judgment ignores the spirit of inclusiveness which is at the heart of the Indian constitution. Activists for gay rights called it a dark day. Quite sad and upset and it's against the constitution. We believe, and we believe in a constitution of the country. Ev everyone should have equal rights. Our, our, it's a black day actually and uh, our, our, our fight will continue and we will still continue to fight. The Supreme Court judgment now criminalises the personal behaviour of consenting adults. This judgment has stirred anger around the world. While the legal battle continues, it is important that we make our voices heard. In response, LGBT Indians and their allies are protesting the court's decision and are expressing support for the community. Through a Facebook group called Gay for a Day, users are changing their profile pictures to one in which you are kissing someone of your own gender, in protest of the Supreme Court of India's ruling that criminalises homosexuality. The Facebook site is going viral. Indian LGBTI activists have called on the world to help support them in their time of need. Protests across India, as well as in Sydney, London, Toronto and many other cities have taken place. Tricone Australasia an organisation which supports the South Asian LGBTQI community of Sydney held a rally in Hyde Park. The rally organisers say, here in Australia we enjoy such freedoms that we cannot stand by while our brothers and sisters in India are now viewed as criminals. So we want to make a stand about it as many Indians are doing across the world and in different cities. To leave here from Hyde Park and to peacefully walk up and protest uh, all the way up Oxford Street to Taylor Square where we will make a stand and make some statements. What do we want? Gay rights in India! What do we want? Now! The march is a way for us to show our support and solidarity with our gay and lesbian brothers in India who are currently going through a very difficult time because uh, they have, India has just uh, uh, overturned an appeal to remove or abolish Section 377, which essentially means that it is now once again a criminal offense to engage in homosexual behavior in India. While it may not seem like a big thing to a lot of people, it is actually something that would be, that's a very discriminatory rule because it means that people in India cannot be publicly gay. And so it essentially makes it illegal to be yourself. The Indian Supreme Court judges argued that it was not the place of courts but for politicians to change such laws. Until then, gay sex is once again criminalised under a colonial era law that was created in the 19th century. And at the centre of it we've got the right wing uh, ruling party in India, the Bharatiya Janata Party, which still has very antiquated beliefs about what it's like to be homosexual. And in fact, one of them was actually quoted saying that we will never support anything unnatural like homosexuality. Today is actually a, a global protest day against the 377, so that itself is something, a huge thing. Uh, Tricon uh, in San Francisco, they are doing a march today. Uh, so there is a community group called Salga in New York, they are doing another, and there are several groups like that in London, um, so basically all around the world, and that is influencing a lot of people, um, a lot of uh, politicians, a lot of Bollywood stars are commenting about this, so it's all, it will all come to a good conclusion eventually. Yeah. We have to take the step now. Um, there was a great 
a great quote I read just the other day. Well, if it's not you, who? If it's not now, when? So we actually have to uh, fight against, fight for our rights, otherwise no one else will. The decision to set aside the 2009 historic and progressive judgment is an unconscionable blow to people's fundamental right to equality and freedom from discrimination, violence and harassment. This is a huge setback, not just for the LGBT movement in India, but for human rights everywhere. Paul Miles, Inside Out TV.